uh, strategic approaches mm -hmm. to um, uh, improve education, mm -hmm. health informatics e uh, education mm -hmm. for all clinicians mm -hmm. and all health professionals. Mm -hmm. When we're looking at, at, at revising and uh, uh, revolutionizing education is to come up with ways that we can address their needs in a, in a manner that makes it seamless right, yeah. so they don't have to actually necessarily stop what they're doing, right. mm -hmm. leave their practice for an hour to go to a lesson. Right. They could have somebody at the elbow or they can have a system that guides them and helps them in a more natural way, just like using an iWatch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we want the same kinds of processes in place for healthcare informatics yeah. for healthcare professionals and administrators to support them in their work. And after all, um, uh, clinical work is all about data and knowledge yes. Yes. all the time. Right. And if you right. do it uh, on paper, it's still data and knowledge. Mm -hmm. And if you do it electronically, mm -hmm. it's just changing the medium. The IT actually slows them down. Uh -huh. A little bit, yeah. right? Because, because of the, the increasing adoption. the increasing demands of documentation, interesting, yes. and the time it takes mm. to learn how to use the system, the mm. time it takes mm. to navigate systems that don't mm. communicate with each other. So I think we have a lot of opportunities as health informatics professionals mm. to work with healthcare providers, and administrators to mm. smooth that path and make that more seamless for them, so right. that we can keep up mm. with them. Basically, researchers are needed uh, to test and uh, evaluate the mm. systems and hereby improve uh, mm. the usability. And this is how, also how Tiger comes in because yeah. usability is mm. a huge issue within Tiger. View from the top is a elevated education session okay. and it has more of a leadership and strategic focus. Okay. So the people that we're communicating with about the project that we've been working on are leadership not only in healthcare but in education, mm. vendors, across the health IT spectrum. Mm -hmm. So our goal is to help them understand ways that they can actually move that rock a little further uphill that you were just talking about. Our strategic approach is to uh, include both uh, the global as well as the local perspective uh, mm -hmm. and to measure the, uh, the relevance and importance of certain health competencies because it's, mm -hmm. it cannot be taken for granted that this and that core competency mm -hmm. is uh, relevant for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we m made a distinction uh, for certain uh, competencies, for certain roles, mm -hmm. and this makes our approach unique. Mm -hmm. We are building upon what's already there, mm -hmm. what's existing, but mm -hmm. we are putting something on top, so it's the relevance mm -hmm. that we measure. We do it on a global scale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. give it to the experts to say what is the relevance, and we have a lot of experts uh, in our uh, in our group. So uh, it, in, in the first group, there were people from 21 countries. Mm -hmm. uh, in the second round, it, it were uh, 718 experts from 51 countries. Wow. So mm -hmm. this is l really the global perspective, mm -hmm. strategic. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand, uh, of course, we need to uh, uh, look what's happening in, in the communities and, mm -hmm. and therefore we have the case studies and maybe yes. you can yes. talk so about this uh, a little bit. The second part of the project was mm -hmm. to develop, to solicit case studies internationally. Mm -hmm. So the first part of the project was to do this development of competencies, mm -hmm. global competencies that could actually be relatable on a local level. Wow. Then what we needed to do was find out is what we're seeing in this these competencies actually reflected in the real world? Are we actually getting an accurate view of this? Right. So we solicited case studies internationally from yep. 23 countries, I think Ursula, 23 yeah. countries, yeah. and found that there was actually a very close alignment with the core competencies that we had put, developed through survey and experts and what people were actually seeing out in the real world. Mm. And so the purpose of the case studies is, and they'll be available on the TIGER landing page under the project page, uh, is to help people see how these competencies are operationalized yeah. in the real world as exemplars and as gold standards so wow. that they can actually take that case study and say, this is what I can get from it and this is what I can apply in my yeah. own local area. Awesome.